Hi everybody, I'm John from Microsoft and I'm here at the MSI North American headquarters joined by Eugene. Hey John, nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Thanks for having us down. Yeah, of course. So we are going to talk about some of the latest and greatest uh, gaming desktop hardware, as you can see, uh, from MSI. And um, before we dive into the specifics of these machines, I know a lot of our viewers might already be familiar with MSI from all the great PC components. Yeah. You know, like your motherboards that you do. Yeah. Uh, but tell us a little bit more about how you got into the desktop space specifically. Yeah, so, you know, we have been around for a little over 30 years now. And we started with PC components with motherboards and graphics cards. But, you know, we slowly built on our reputation with these components into, uh, you know, moving into the laptops. Um, and then slowly taking all the things that we've learned and pushing them into our gaming desktops as mm -hmm. well as our gaming monitors. Okay, so you've really got like the whole portfolio now. Of yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right, so let's dive into these guys a little bit. We're looking at the Aegis series, is yes, that right? Aegis series. Okay, so you've got kind of our smaller form factor, or I guess it's really mid size. Mid size, right? yeah. This is more of a full size tower. Yeah. Let's start with this one. Tell yeah, me about sure. This so one. this is the Aegis TIE 3. This is going to be our flagship. Uh, gaming desktop. Okay. Um, this one is going to be fully decked out. You have uh, you know, up to two 1080 Ti's uh, in configuration in SLI, uh, 64 gigs of RAM, all the storage space that you would ever need. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it has multiple different um, RGB lighting effects that you would want to customize with. Um, and what's cool is the way that we separated the, the components internally and how we designed it, um, we separated it into three different chambers so that right. uh, the CPU, the video card, and the power supply are all separated so that the thermals are regulated a lot better. It's got such a striking design, right? Yep. I mean, it really doesn't look like any other desktop I could think of, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like when I look at this, I guess uh, I just sort of see a transformer head. <laughs> But maybe tell us a little bit about the inspiration for the design here. Yeah, sure. So, you know, we barely got into the gaming desktop um, category maybe a couple years ago. And what we really want to do when we started was to really go from the ground up and create something very unique and mm -hmm. something that stands out. Because there's a lot of uh, PC cases that you can buy out there and, you know, make your own. But uh, we want to do something that, you know, normal people wouldn't be able to really make. Um, easily and this right. is what we came up with because you know that these are kind of the elements that our company really uh, enjoys you know we really like the the futuristic sci-fi type of you know mech uh design language okay. and you know that's where we kind of push everything into awesome yeah i really like it and uh, you know there's even some extra function hidden in there right like exactly at first i thought so these aren't like wi-fi antennas or something no right? they, we <laughs> built these for the headset hangers this is more aesthetic yeah. but you can hang your headset on it Pretty exactly. cool. Uh, I also noticed that you still have um, some a disk drive in the front, which is yeah, nice. Yeah, you have so, some extra I/O ports there, and exactly. like, tell us about what this button does up here. Yeah, so you know, um, we wanted to make our desktops very um, accessible for people. You mm -hmm. know, if you're not someone that's uh, very tech savvy, to still be able to get the most out of all the performance of what we've included mm -hmm. and. The button up front, you would think that it's the power button, but it's actually a, a overclock button. So, you know, if you're someone that doesn't want to go into the BIOS and mess with a bunch of settings to, to do overclocking, um, we, we have an overclock button in the front, you just push it and it'll overclock to a very stable um, speed and you can get extra performance. Ah, so you make overclocking accessible to kind of the more the starter PC game, exactly. I would say. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so that is our um, big guy. now. Tell us a little bit about what is in the kind of the smaller version. This yeah. is the Aegis 3, right? Yes, so this okay. is the Aegis 3. Um, the Aegis 3 is our little brother to the Aegis TIE 3. Mm -hmm. um, one single 1080 Ti. So, so you still get, a lot of power. Exactly, a yeah. lot of uh, performance in mm -hmm. one single card, um, up to 64 gigs of RAM as well. Um, you know, you have still all the necessary ports that you would need um, you know if you're gaming with a PC um, all up in the front and as well as uh, you know in the rear IO you have you know basically everything that um, you would need to to you know get off to gaming okay and then this one's still a lot more portable because you know you've got the handle on both but of yeah. course I mean this one probably weighs I don't know significantly less yeah um, <laughs> say. this one we really tailor to you know gamers who are looking to you know, either save space at home or you know if you're if you're someone that likes to go land parties or go to your friend's house to, to game um, this one's very uh, accessible to, to okay. take around awesome so like now if you're really into space saving 
This one is, is pretty eye-catching, I've got to say. So tell us about this. This is the Trident. Yeah, so this is the Trident 3 uh, mini gaming PC. Okay. Um, it's you know shaped similarly to a console. You can easily fit it inside a home theater setup. Mm -hmm. you know, if you're interested in playing games on your big screen TV, um, you can definitely use something like this. Uh, it sits really nice and flush uh, you know, anywhere on your you know, uh, TV stand or anything. Um, this one is really cool because uh, it's, it's a very small form factor, but you still get plenty of performance. We have mm -hmm. this one going up to a GTX 1070 uh, wow. configuration, up to 30, 32 gigs of RAM, has an SSD in there, and this one actually comes in both black and white. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, when I picked this up earlier, I feel like this is almost lighter than my Xbox. Yeah, exactly. And you can get a full GTX 1070 in there. Yeah. And, you know, similar to all our other desktop products, um, we integrated the way that we do the cooling into the different chambers, uh, as well as into this one. So this one doesn't have three, but it has two separate chambers, one for the video card and one for the CPU. Ah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, very nice small form factor design. So all the way from you know, your big full-size tower to your mid-size, and then new small form factor. That is our desktop lineup we're looking yep. at right now. You know, we've got one more thing we mentioned up front, right, which is that you even do monitors now? Yeah. So this so, is your first one? Uh, no, this is actually the, not the first one, but this is our newest model newest that one. we have. Okay, very yeah. good. So we just started to make gaming monitors uh, in, last year. And you know we really wanted to bring together our entire gaming portfolio. Mm -hmm. um, you know we tout ourselves as a gaming company first. And you know what do you need to game? You obviously need a screen for our laptops. That was fine, but for our gaming desktops, you know we needed something to, to, to run the games that we wanted to play. So now we have uh, our gaming monitors. This one is our newest one. This is the MAG series monitor. Okay. Um, this one specifically is a 2K monitor with 144 hertz refresh rate. So you know it. Um, as Super a, smooth performance. Exactly, buttery smooth. Um, you know, if you're interested in gaming uh, at a high level, you're definitely going to want to take a look at something like this. Awesome, and I see you went with the curved design too. Yeah, so that's kind of our cool. our our uh, you know design um, you know focus is that all, all our monitors so far have been a curved panel. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I mean, I I think it's clear there's no shortage of cool PC gaming options this yeah. day. Uh, it's, it's a great time to be a gamer. So. Uh, Eugene, thank you so much for having us down. Yep, thank you. Um, all these products are now available at the Microsoft Store online or in stores. And thanks for joining us.